Hi, what we want to do today is I want to go over a question with my DAT group, but I wanted to share it with all you guys. Last class, we went over the diels alder reaction, and tonight we're going to do oxidation reduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the diels alder reaction and do a reduction on it, and then an oxidation. So come over and let's have a look. I'm going to do a three-part reaction. I'm going to do a cyclo addition, followed by a reduction and an oxidation, which I'll cover tonight. In the very first step, I want to react a conjugated diene with a dienophile to get A. We all remember that from last class. Then I'm going to use lithium aluminum hydride to reduce it. And then this reagent, which you may be thanking me for someday, is known as oxalyl chloride, and that will finish it off. All right, let's go over what we've done. The first thing we did is we do the famous diels alder reaction, where I use the three arrows and I form my final product, and that's what we call a four plus two cyclo addition. Notice that the two ester groups are on the same side. So I indicate that by using the stereochemical designator that are both wedges, or they could have both been dashes. Once I get A, I'm going to now use lithium aluminum hydride, that's going to break the ester down the middle, and that's what we're going to be doing tonight. And after you break it down, you reduce it. So that'll give me two moles of methanol as byproduct. And of course, we're not breaking the chirality, so you keep these as wedges. So we now have two CH2OHs. Now, what the hell is this reagent? This reagent is called oxalyl chloride. You got this in the brand new issue with the destroyer book, it's very important. This oxalyl chloride with DMSO treated with a amine, a tertiary amine as cleanup base is known as the Swern oxidation. It's a very important reaction. Swern oxidation is a little more gentler than PCC, but it'll do the same thing, or what we call the Desmartin reagent. So Swern, PCC, or Desmartin is gonna take the alcohol group, the primary alcohol, and get me my two aldehydes. So the final product would be this cyclohexene dicarbaldehyde. All right, I hope that gives you a good understanding of a type of question you'll see on the DAT exam. All right, bye-bye.